In the latest version of RetroArch, there's a pretty cool feature which allows you to combine shaders together. So if there are two particular shaders that you enjoy and you think would be good if you mixed them together, you can now do that. So let me show you it in action. So the first thing to do is start a game in RetroArch and then press F1 and then go down to shaders and then load a shader of your choice. So I'm going to go to CRT and then I'm going to load up CRT Royale and then press enter, let that load and then go back to the game. And then you can see CRT Royale has loaded. I want to add some motion blur to this shader. So if I just press F1 and go to append and this allows you to essentially add another shader on top of the one we have at the moment. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and maybe try a totally different shader. Maybe I'm gonna try some motion blur. I'm gonna add motion blur simple and then let that load and then go to the game. So now we've got the CRT Royale shader and in theory we should have some motion blur. There we go. So that's how you kind of combine two shaders. And the great thing is you can kind of keep going. You can add as many as your computer can handle. So I'm going to go to F1 Go to append. Maybe I want to add a VHS shader on top of that. So I'll go to VHS, press enter, let it load. And this is the finished article. There we go. So we have our scan lines, we have some VHS artifacts, and we have the motion blur. I just want to show you one thing. If you go to F1, depending on whether you're appending or prepending, must determine which order the shaders are kind of layered on top of or beneath each other. And then once you found a combination that you're happy with, go and save it. If you do create any interesting combinations, please drop them in the comments section. I'd love to try them.